Hey guys, it's Razor, and welcome back to episode 2 of my Let's Play, uh, where we left off last time. Uh, if you remember, we came down into this cave right there, but I found there's an alternate entrance right over here. So, uh, our food situation is dire. We uh, got to find something to eat. So, that's first priority today. So... Had to fight a skeleton over here. And look what we have here. I don't want to go back in there. So let's dig our way out here. Hopefully we won't run across any creepers. And I'm thinking let's head... Actually, let's head over here because I see some more cows. And I'm just going to kill these cows because I don't want to live in this redwood forest. I want to make sure I pick up this leather and stuff though. What can I get rid of? Spider eye. Go, go away. Alright. Am I getting the steak? Yeah. What did I hear? I heard something. All right. Okay. We uh, probably need to go ahead and cook this up. So let's do that. We made that furnace earlier to cook up that little bit of iron. So we have that. So let's cook up some steak. Let's have a look around and see what else we can find while that's going. Really would like to find some sheep. Thinking probably should just keep heading south. Looks like there might be a clearing over in the south, uh, southwest over there. Maybe we'll come up across a, just a regular old forest biome or something. All right, much better. Just let a couple more of those cook up and then can head out. How are we doing on wood? Well, we could actually use some of that dirt away. Let's chop down one of these big giant trees. What kind of wood do I have? actually don't have any uh, actual logs, so it really doesn't matter what I chop down. I guess it's one of these guys. Okay, that's a no steak for now, I guess. Uh, what else can I get rid of? Oh, I don't need to. So we're hurting for inventory space too, so uh, I'm just going to... I don't want to get rid of all my cobble. I'll get rid of this, I guess. Oh. Uh, take my furnace with me. Oh, I was going to. There we go. And let's just head down here. Hopefully we can find some sheep before it gets dark again. Otherwise we'll dig down again for the night. Oh, wrong way. Duh. That village back there was really just pathetic. I don't even see any uh, wheat farms or anything. 
mean, just the way it was built into those hills or whatever. I don't know. It's one of the smallest villages I've ever seen. And we're going to come across some bad hills here, aren't we? Oop, some lag. This is why I hate some of these hilly areas like this. Hard to traverse. There you go. Hey, some chickens. Well, maybe my plan wasn't so good because it looks like we got a snow biome or whatever that's called over there. I really just want the chicken, uh, chickens for the feathers. Um, oh, God. Told you that's why I hated these red force. That's all I need is another creeper blast. I want to get that feather. There. Okay. I hate to leave behind all that chicken and stuff, but I'm just out of space. I have to find somewhere to call home here, temporarily anyway. We really haven't been happy with any of the places we've seen so far. What biome is this? Oh, ice wasteland. Huh. That'll be the first time I've run across one of those. We need to be gathering these reeds for paper and stuff, but we're just out of inventory space, so... I'm probably just going to have to build a chest. I really don't like this, just these meadow or whatever, because there's no trees. Okay, what's the map look like now? Ugh, just solid meadow. There's another village over there. Alright, let's head over there. Oh, there it comes rendering in. And, uh... Looks like they've got some wheat and stuff. It's like a much better village. Hopefully we find some sheep around here somewhere. This is a good sized village. All these potatoes. Except I don't have room for them. Yeah. Red out of potatoes and the wheat. Baked potatoes are good. These potatoes, yeah. There's a library too. Right. You know what? We may just have to temporarily call this library home, to, to be honest, because let's make a chest. Start throwing a bunch of this stuff in there. You'll probably see me start keeping like old swords and things like that because in Thomcraft, uh, those are actually worth something. If you uh, hold shift down, you can see what aspects they have in them. And um, sword has quite a few in it, so it's actually worth something, even though it's almost almost gone. So 
Let's see. Put everything in, then we can get stuff back out when we need it. Like our coal. Sticks. Wood. I guess these logs. It's getting night again. You guys don't have this place lit up. So your punishment is, I'm going to take your books. In the, if, if you would get off my chest, please. All right, let's um, smelt up some more of this. <clears throat> this more of this iron. Where's my iron? There it is. Maybe we can make. Uh, a little bit more armor. Be a little bit more prepared. <clears throat> what else they got around here? This is a nice sized village. Getting there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Take a drink. <clears throat> so I don't know. Where the best place to go? We still have that meadow down there. Looks like we might have some, uh, what do they call great wood trees, whatever, from Thomcraft down there. Be nice to grab one of those. So, what else can we make with this iron? We have enough to make. Let's see if we make the boots. Uh, let's make a cap. I don't know which one's better. That's probably enough for now anyway. Hold that back. Alright, let's temporarily just call this our base for now. Let's call it base one or something like that. That way we know where it's at. Anything we need out of here. Um, no. So we need to go scouting for some more stuff. Um, I'd like to get started with Thomcraft, but we need to decide where our actual home is going to be. Um, so let's see what we can find. You guys are just always in the way. 
And it'll should be light soon. I guess we'll just keep on heading down south and see what we can come up come across. Oh, this is one of those Thalcraft towers. Let's look in there. Oh, come on, get in there. Never actually been in one of these. I think there's supposed to be some chests or something. Ooh, nice. Night tour. Ooh, knowledge fragments. Fire charges, glass bottles, gold nuggets. Nice. Anything else up this way? No, there's nothing up here. No, I don't want to mess with creepers. The minium shard, that's good. No, you didn't see me. Okay, yes you did. And another one. Cool. Yeah, there's one of those great wood trees or whatever. There's two of them. It's real handy wood to have around. And so I'm probably just going to... Oh my goodness. Glad I looked in there. Those guys are just out for me today. It's raining wood. Hey. How much is that? It's going to be almost two stacks. But it's pretty good. Uh, it's pretty useful when you're working with Thomcraft. It has magic aspect on it, which is good. good in here. Some more iron. It's like a pretty good sized cave. I'm not going to go messing around in there too much because we need to stick to the surface for the most part. You know what though? I think I will take that iron. Well, I can see it here. So that was it. Boy, it looks just like meadow for miles. Spawn is way over there. I was wondering what the heck this was. Chunker. Hmm. Alright, let me relog. Be right back. Okay, that's better. Boy, I tell you. Well, maybe down a little further south over there. There's some forestry area, forest areas. Let's 
See some reed over there. I'm going to grab that. Gonna need tons of paper. And I know we need. Oh, looks like one of you guys died, huh? We're gonna need some ink sacks, I know. And there's some clay over here. Get that too. I don't think we need a lot of it. Did I even gather any of it? No. Well, I'm going to keep searching around here, guys, and uh, if I find something, I'll, I'll let you know. Well, hold on a minute. Maybe we found something. Well, there's more trees here, at least. This is starting to look okay. What I'm kind of looking for is sort of a forest... Uh, more of a you know the vanilla um, biomes, but I really would like to find one where we're kind of close to a swamp area or something where uh, we can find some rubber trees. Um, and doesn't look like this is very promising for that anyway, but it does look like a kind of a cool area. Okay, I'll keep searching around and then uh, if I find something interesting or whatever, I'll, I'll bring you back in. Well guys, I'm just over the mountain from where we were and at least I found some sheep. So maybe we can make a bed now. Oh, I want those great wood sap saplings, but I don't care about the snowballs. The other thing I'm kind of looking for is those silverwood trees, those blue trees. Uh, it's a good place to to settle down. It's near some of those trees. Haven't seen one of those either. Sometimes I'll see two or three together. It's kind of rare, but you'll see them occasionally. So I'm going to keep keep searching. Um, I'm still not too far away. You can see the base is like 500 meters over there. Spawn 700 and something. So I'm going to keep on searching. Okay, guys. Well, I did find uh, a silverwood tree. Uh, but I did manage to find a rubber tree that gave us three rubber tree saplings. Well, So that's good. We have some great wood uh, saplings. So we can plant our own great wood trees if we want. And um, uh, made a bed. And that's about it. So I, I think uh, we got a full inventory again. So I think it's about time to head back to base. And this is a, kind of a good wrapping up point. So uh, I'll, I'll head back to the base. And I guess we're going to call that home for now. And uh, or at least we're gonna grab our stuff and and move move somewhere else. I still really haven't found an area that I want to actually build a house or anything, but that's okay. Uh, we can stay there with those villagers, I guess, for a little while. So anyway, uh, 
uh, it's thanks thanks for watching guys and uh, i will see you in the next one